All right, let's start building our uh, login screens first. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to main storyboard. I will drag out a new view. Hopefully it will allow me to delete the old one. Let's move the arrow. This arrow actually means that uh, this is the initial view controller. So when the project starts, uh, this is the view controller that will be shown first. I think there is okay. There is some bug with this deleting view controllers. Maybe Apple will fix it with net next launch. All right. So we have deleted that uh, that view. We have created our new view controller. Uh, I'm going to create a file which is going to control our view controller. So command N. Uh, it's going to be a Coco touch class. Click next. I'm going to call this register view controller which is going to be a subclass of UI view controller click next click create so we have another view controller here now we move to our main storyboard select our view controller make sure you select the yellow one here because otherwise it won't work and you see all the view is highlighted in blue now so if we go to our third button here identity inspector and it has a class here so the class controlling this view is going to be our register view controller. Hit enter. Now we have a view and the class that controls this view. So we are going to build our register view interface. Um, I'm going to need a label. So I drag a label out. Here uh, you can also if you don't like to scroll down and search what you need, you can just filter it. So if I say label, it will bring me the label. Just after you have to cancel so you can see the rest of the things. That's why I just prefer to scroll down. So we have a label here. I'm going to stretch it from one end to another. But if you want to zoom in, zoom out, you can use the plus minus buttons or just pinch in and out on your trackpad. So uh, my label uh, is going to tell the user what to do. So I'm going to make it nice and center. Select uh, alignment center. And I'm going to have two lines here. So click on two, make it two lines. And the text, uh, you can double tab it and start register to use all the features of the application all right uh, let's make it two lines And I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle. Also, let's uh, let's make it a bit bigger and change it to be a bold. So we have here our uh, system font, and this is going to be actually the bold is too big, so we need to just enlarge it a little bit. All right. Um, so we have our information to our user so he knows why we want him to register then um, we are going to ha have here the options to register so I need a text field here user is going to input the credentials which is going to be the phone number. I'm going to use the placeholder here. Phone number with country code. And then we need another text field. 
So this text field will be uh, for the code that the user receives from the Firebase. So how it's going to work once uh, once the user puts the phone number, requests the code, the Firebase will send you an SMS with the code. You can use this code to register. So this one is going to be our placeholder code. And also we need a button. So the user can do his requests. I'm going to have it request code. All right, um, let me show you what we are building here so you have better idea. So this is our application ready, but once I go in a place that I am not registered, it will, uh, it will show me this screen, which is our register screen. We are building the top part now. So it says register to use the app features. We have a close button here in case the user doesn't want to register which closes the view and we have the phone number then we request the code this below part is just an email registration because as I said the simulator cannot register through mobile number so that's why we need another way for the users to register through email okay so we are building this interface uh, just to have a visual idea what we are doing here I'm going to get back here, uh, select my uh, button here and we're going to change the background of it. So we, if you go down under the view here, we have a background. Uh, let's choose some kind of a blue, it's, it's too dark. I want to get this uh, apple blue. Let me check if I can... Uh, Yeah, this is the one. So I have this apple blue. You can actually even Google the the code of this color. It's called apple blue or something like that. So if you don't have it, you can go specifically and put the. Uh, where is there should be a place to put the RGB or hash color. Anyway, so this is our blue, and as you can see the text is no more no longer visible because. The text color is also the same blue, the default. So let's change it to white. And I'm going to make it bigger and also bold. Yes, 18 should be fine. So we have our uh, view here, but as you can see on our view, we can see only one of the fields. And when we actually get the code, the second one will be visible because we don't want the user to interact with this code uh, until we receive the code. So what we can do is to hide it. So the best play, uh, the best way to do this, we can select all these uh, views and uh, we can actually put them in a, what's called a stack view. So the stack view, if you click on here at the bottom, it will put everything in one stack and if I hide one of the views the it will be adjusted automatically so watch this uh, let's go and hide this and it automatically adjusts the size of it if I show it and uh, it, it gets back right um, so it changed our sizes a little bit so we are going to use uh, now we have on our stack view here. We are going to use auto layout to fix this. So let's put this in the middle. And I'm going to say that on the left side is going to be 8. On the right side is going to be 8. And on top let's keep 44. Click connect. And you can see the size of it changed. But uh, they are stuck together, so we can give some extra space there. Let's go to select your stack view, go to spacing, and add a little bit space. I think 7 or 6 should be fine. That gives some space between our views. So uh, we have auto layout for our stack view. We don't have a layout yet for our uh, 
label here so I can control drag to my view and I can say center vertically ah, no. actually we need to center horizontally so it's in the middle also let's get back the size also we are going to make the width standard and the height standard because this text is not going to change we can have a width and height standard then uh, we still have some red uh, constraints which means that uh, this view doesn't know where exactly it should be on the runtime so we can add another constraint uh, which is going to be a hundred point from top so now we have all blue constraints which means that everything is set correctly and uh, each view knows where it's going to be on a runtime the yellow means it's not sure the red means that it doesn't know so the blues are good then uh, we are going to put our X button here so the user can close it let me actually check how much is my top space So the top I have uh, 57. Uh, let's see top. Yeah, let's let's put it also 57. So get it up. Right. Uh, let's create another button. And I'm going to put in the corner. This button uh, will not have any text. We are going to. Right now I'm going to just put a background to it so you can see where it is. Let's put it red we are going to put an X there so um, go to assets here will be all our assets of our project you can download the assets from the assets lecture and I am going to copy and paste all the assets I have here copy and paste I'm going to drag let me see what else I have so I don't get unnecessary things here yeah it looks good so drag the assets I have 95 in fact it will take some time to copy them to the folder all right let's close this and put our application pack so now we have all these assets which are images we can use we have this X mark which is called IC sign up close so let's go to our main storyboard, click on our button, and I'm going to use the image. I'm going to copy and paste it actually, the image name. Let me also remove the background color so we can see our X. Alright, um, actually I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and position it in our right corner you see where the blue guidelines are this is helping us to find the correct location so from the top it's going to be zero and from the right side it's going to be 16 so we keep width and height and we are getting a blue guidelines which means we are good to go so if i run my application now i should see all these views nicely set up let's see what's the problem it says uh, this is an error um, it says basically most of the error is really unnecessary junk this part the required part which actually gives some information is this part here uh, terminating to up due to uncalled exception fired base.com reason fire up configure Firebase configuration in Swift could not find the valid Google service info plist in your project. So, it says please download one from Google in uh, Firebase. So, actually, the reason is crashing has nothing to do with our work. For some reason, um, 
the info plist uh, Firebase doesn't understand that uh, we already have this info plist file. 